Let us reconcile with one another, especially those who have hurt us. Right to life is the fundamental right of every citizen. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, Today's Gospel taken from Matthew 5, 20-26 is an important passage where Jesus makes us understand about three important things pertaining to our life, society and nation. First, the physical act of murder. Murder is a crime. It is a sin, a sin against the commandment of the Lord. The Indian constitution protects everyone's life. Therefore, we see it there, the right to life as the fundamental right of every citizen. Murder is taking away a person's life, separating one forcefully from this world. Life is the gift of God, given to each one of us to live to our best and to glorify God. We have the right to live, protect our life and that of others. But no one has the right to take away either one's own life or that of others. The law comes in hand against the lawbreaker. Second, murder in heart and mind. Jesus says, if you are angry or insult or say you fooled your brother or sister, you are equally liable to judgment as in the case of murder. Jesus equals these three aspects to that of physical murder because physical murder is visible to the eyes that separates one from the world. So also anger, insult and abusive words break our relationship with God and with one another gradually. Just like the worm that is in the bark or roots of a tree that gradually kills it, so also anger, insult and abusive words kill oneself and others progressively. The outbreak of a full-blown and uncontrolled anger ends up in physical murder. Jesus was also angry in the temple when he saw the trade in the temple, but he did have limit and control over his emotion. Today Jesus reminds us to be angry, but do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger. Third, reconciliation. The common reaction of the Jewish authority towards the sinners and the wrongdoing was the judgment and punishment. We see it clearly in the case of the sinful woman who was to be stoned to death and also the imprisonment of Barnabas for his notorious acts. But today, Jesus gives us a new teaching, new law, that is to forgive others, be reconciled with one another rather than judge and punish others. From the moment of creation, mercy, compassion and forgiveness were in the hands of God. Hanging on the cross, He forgave everyone. Father, forgive them. Love your enemies. Do good to those who curse you, persecute you, ridicule you, hate you, and pray for them. If our Master Jesus has forgiven everyone before offering the ultimate sacrifice on the cross, we His followers are to imitate Him, reconcile with one another before we celebrate the Holy Eucharist every day. Today, let us reconcile with one another, especially those who have hurt us. Let us respect and protect life, the gift of God. Let us work to build the kingdom of God, founded on love, forgiveness, peace, gentleness, and joy. Let us build up and grow in relationship with God and one another. Nothing is impossible with God. Amen. <laughs>